This is what's left of Nora Barr's house. Everything is just gone. It's just a disaster, isn't it? High winds from Monday night's storm knocked down a tree, splitting the house down the middle. Thankfully, Barr wasn't inside at the time. The tree fell in the living room. I normally be laying there on the chair, watching TV, and fall asleep. The whole wall is all in the living room. In addition to toppling trees, Whiteville City Fire Marshal Hal Louder says the whipping winds knocked down power lines, leaving more than 1,500 people in the dark. Service lines being pulled away from the houses and just a, a lot of fireworks with the transformers and, and that kind of thing, you know, pretty scary stuff. Crews spent much of Tuesday replacing lines and restoring power. And Columbus County resident Curtis Smith says when the storm hit, his first fault was to run for shelter. Like a big rolling ball of fire that the kids say couldn't stop. Uh, we couldn't go yet. And that's the way the wind got me, but they had me fighting last night, but uh, after calm down, then I calm down. I'm shaking the house at times, wind is leaves popping everywhere, hitting the, my back deck, bouncing off the roof and everything. Trampoline flew over there. I mean, it was it was kind of wild for two or three hours that I was up during it. Even though the wind and rain is long gone, for Nora, there's still a long road ahead. I don't know where I'm going. But I do know God gonna make a way. In Whiteville, Brandon Shope, Spectrum News.